So I do many tours in Rome, but one of my favorites is the Angels and Demons tour. Now even if you uh, haven't read the book or seen the movie, it's still a fun tour because we really just use it as an excuse to get off the beaten path, get into some more interesting and obscure knowledge that we don't include in other tours. Now if I were to move that off to the side, you see about a, about a five meter shaft going down with a little ladder going down the side, and if you went down there, you'd find yourself amongst piles and piles of bones. I really liked our tour guide, Mike. I thought that he was insightful. I could ask him all kinds of questions, and he knew the book inside and out, which is magnificent because I've read it several times. Now you can see all this uh, symbolism. Here you have this palm tree, you have the lion, and you have this guy representing the Nile. Now this guy is covering his face because at that time, they did not know the source of the Nile. I have neither read the book nor seen the movie, but it didn't make the tour any less enjoyable. I really enjoyed it regardless. The little church, the Santa Teresa d'Avila, was what I liked most. Now, here we have the ecstasy of Teresa of Avila. When they prepared her for her burial, she had thousands of little stab wounds all over her body. The church will call this stigmata, right, when you receive the wounds of Christ. So what sets the City Wonders Angels and Demons tour apart from the rest is we take you around by bus, in an air-conditioned bus, to these wonderful sites. We stop and give you a beverage. I have done tours all over the world from different vendors, and this is by far one of the best I've ever done. <laughs>